We are making a detour. Brittany has spotted lounge flies. So we're gonna go see what they they have. How did you see them? Where did, where? Oh, I see them now. Found some lounge flies. Oh, look how cute. Oh my goodness. This is cute too. I like that a lot as well. Look at that one. I found it. The Sokotano Pops. There's a couple. I found it. I told you I'd find it. You did. We're not getting it, but you found it. Yeah, I know. That's as great. Everything is handmade. It is amazing. I really like that dress. <laughs> she, she was out. She's like, she's like, I bet you that's handmade. That's amazing. Yeah, that's so great. great job. <laughs> you know, Blue Ranger, Green Ranger from the Mighty Wolf Power Rangers movie. Oh. We're adventuring again, and this time with Chicken Nugget. Hey, what's up? Vlog. I don't know where we're going now. We've pretty much gone everywhere. Oh, I don't know where we're gonna go. You gotta get gone. his glasses. We've 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 walked pretty much everywhere, right, Brittany? Yeah. So we'll figure it out. Let's just uh, I don't know where to go. I'm going this way. Yeah. I like this shirt idea. It's like a bunch of like old like flannel shirts, and they just sew these. Pictures on the back of them. Brittany always finds the lounge flies. Is there any ones that you saw that you like? No, nothing major. I mean, they're cute. Just nothing that I'm like, oh, I need this. Which is probably for yeah. the best. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Corgi pillow. Oh, my exactly goodness. That. That's such a cute corgi. So now we're here in the celebrity autograph area. There's some celebrities. Like right there, the voice of Squidward. I think Stephen Amell is over there. Over here's a lot of voice acting talent. Like there's the voice of Mario. First, our chicken nuggets met him. I did. I uh, I brought a Super Mario 64 cartridge. Um, insert picture here. Um, I had him sign it. It was super cool. He's a super nice guy. And you could tell that he just loves life and loves being Mario. So, did he do the yeah. voice for you? Yes, he did. I don't have a clip of it, unfortunately. Yeah. But it was really cool. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Christian, I have a question. What? Why did you wear those shoes to walk around in all day? It, it went without my outfit, man. My, my feet hurt. I think your like, bands would have worked in that outfit. Okay, but I wanted to wear these. My feet hurt. Hey, 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 I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. They hurt. All right, so we're, it's Saturday, and I don't have the camera with me. This is my phone. It's been insane. It is so busy. We've been at the booth all of today because of how crazy it's been. But we're about to do something really fun. I don't know if you want to say what we're doing yet, or if you still want it to be a surprise. We're about to do something really cool that Brady's been looking forward to this entire time. I don't think we're going to be able to record it. Yeah. But we're going to meet John Stamos. But if we are able to film it, You'll wait and see later. I will say crowd level today, we've been here the whole time. Crowd level today is absolutely insane. We've been kind of like taking turns between like being at the booth and walking around and I don't know how much walking around we're gonna do today. It's literally worse than Disney on a like summer day. Um, you cannot move. There's just, there's no place to move. You're walking at like 0.2 miles per hour. Everybody's crowding, it's crazy. So originally capacity was supposed to be reduced because of COVID. They're not reducing capacity. They are requiring masks, uh, but they're not reducing capacity. And they actually opened up more. There is so much demand. They actually added an extra 5,000 tickets to today, uh, yesterday. So more people are just coming and coming. Um, so if you wanna go to MegaCon, it's great. I would skip Saturday. I would come any other day. Thursday's fantastic. Friday, Friday's my favorite day because everything's still here and it's not as busy, uh, but there are still some fun cosplays. Sunday, um, I haven't been here on a Sunday before, so I'm interested to see what it's like. I do know that if you wait until Sunday, sometimes some of the good stuff is just gone because people are selling out. But um, I would definitely, just bite the bullet, take a day off of work and come Friday. Yeah. 
Now, one thing I will say about Saturdays, I would only go on Saturday if you get the four-day pass. Because yeah. then on Thursday, Friday, Sunday, you can do everything else you want. Friday is a good day for panels and a good day for like celebrity autographs and photo ops. I meant Saturday. Saturday is a day where you can do all of that because that's when most of the celebrities are going to be here. But if you're going to like walk around and look at the floor and like look at the different booths and stuff like that, I would do that on non-Saturday. Yeah. So if you can avoid coming Saturday, do it. But if you want to meet celebrities or anything like that, Saturday is the best day to do it because that's when most of them are going to be. Like John Stamos is only here today. So that's what we're doing with our with our off time is meeting John Stamos and maybe getting a frame for it, which we talked so about earlier. Brittany, don't be nervous. I'm it's like really socially awkward, so I'm really nervous. And you're going to be like starstruck. So, we're excited. We're going to have a good time. If I'm able to film, we'll throw in meeting John Samos right now. Okay, we're in line now. Heading around, making our way up to the front. It's me, Mr. Jonathan Stamos. Really excited. Brittany's excited. She's not talking right now, but we're really excited. All right, Brittany, what just happened? I met John Stamos. Really? It was only like 10 seconds. They were moving people through so fast. I didn't actually get to have like any kind of a conversation with him, but I got to meet him. But how do we know you met him? Oh, there's a picture of Brittany and John Stamos and lights. There's John Stamos, there's Brittany. She met him. He seemed really nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Brittany walked up. I think you said, I'm so excited to meet you. And then they snapped the picture yeah, and then they so kicked you up. Me. He smiled at me though. He did. He did. So we're gonna go put this in the car so it does not get damaged. Hello again. It is now Sunday, day four of Megacon. Uh, we really didn't vlog yesterday because it was insane. It was so crazy. It was so busy. Luckily, we obviously got to meet John Stamos. Brittany was really happy. And uh, hopefully do some stuff today. Oh look, it's Chicken Nugget. Eh. Cosplaying as Tyler Joseph. Uh, as a bandito from 21 Pilots. So that's Tyler Joseph. Yes. Okay. All right. We are now on our off time, and we're exploring. It's the last day of MegaCon. Sad face. Sad sigh. It is sad. I'm also really tired at this point. So. Yeah, we've been here all day, every day. This is four days in a row. Yeah. It's uh, it's been fun. It has it's been, been a lot of fun. Early mornings. Yeah. I, I sleep more on work nights. So. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's been fun. Just ready for some sleep. Yes, and Brittany was smart and she was able to get an extra day off tomorrow. So I have to work and she gets to rest all day, which she rightfully deserves. So we're exploring Artist Alley. We're going to see what jumps out to us and have a good time. Again, today is Sunday and it's surprisingly busy. Oh my goodness, look how sweet that is. Like, this cosplayer as well has gotten down on the floor. Like, okay. this is not a Disney actress. Like, this is just a cosplayer. She is like down there. Probably, so probably. I would film you, but it's weird to film people without their permission. Right. Um, but it is really sweet, and I'm pretty sure this little girl is acting like she's meeting actual Belle. That is so precious. So, so you would do that. <laughs> and you would do that. You would act like you'd be walking around, hello peasants, you'd be doing the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, you do that Thank even you for being here today. <laughs> you do that even without cosplay. Just to clarify, Brittany does not actually think that she is above everybody. <laughs> she does that jokingly. Oh, we already went down this aisle. We already went down this aisle. And she mostly says it to me. I am the peasant. I am told to be gone quite often. Again, the cool thing about Artist Alley isn't even so much the art, it's like people who just make like different crafts and stuff. We just saw this one booth in the city had keychains and it was all Animal Crossing themed. They had like a uh, Dodo Airlines keychain that kind of looked like a luggage tag. It was really cool. It was sold out, but it was really cool. This is kind of funny, we just passed a booth the booth is called Penguins and Things. It said just penguin things is what it was called. And I love penguins, so I looked. There were no penguins yeah. at all. At the just penguin things. Nothing. There were things. Their logo was a penguin, but there were no penguin things. False advertising. So you you might not be not might not be able to tell based on the uh, how loquacious and verbose I am on this here vlog. But we just passed by a guy who was holding a comic. He's like, you want to read my comic? And I said, like, eh, uh, 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 and walked away. He goes, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> walked away. It was, not my, it was not my best moment. I didn't know what to say. I was like, I just, so just, made, noises. I just made noises and walked away. Brittany, huh. what did you just buy? I just found some Phantom of the Opera stuff. It was really cool. We should have shown everything, but... 
Did Phantom of the Opera, Down the Abbey. They had uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Quest, which is one of my favorites. It is so good. If you haven't watched it, go find it. I don't know where it's streaming. Go to justwatch.com and look it up. It's amazing. It's like a homage to everything Star Trek fandom. But it was a really cool booth. Brittany had a great time looking at everything there. Yeah, it was really neat. And we'll, uh, what was the name? It was Maggie Burns, I think was yeah. her name. So look her up online. She sells a bunch of really cool art. So now we're in like the cool like the little Doctor Who area. So they have the TARDIS and some Daleks. That's really, that's really cool. And then right over here also they have a bunch of Star Wars stuff where you get your pictures taken in front of some cool Star Wars backdrops. It's just really cool. I don't know if they wanted us to film over there. But the Doctor Who stuff is encouraged for photos. And here we are. We're at the end. The end of Megacon. It ends in about a half an hour. We're at the booth. It's been fun. Did you have a good time? We did. We did. We'll probably show you some of the cool things that we purchased here in a little bit. We're just hanging out at the booth for the last little bit. Um, while the crowds die down, the lights turn off, the artists pack up, and the vendors ship out. See you in the Megacon in 2021. Is that a little dramatic? Yeah. Also, our friend Neff is here. Hey! Hello, it's like a potatoes crew. How are you doing? There's chicken, there's chicken nuggets. What's up, guys? And pastrami sandwich. I'm tired. Pastrami? Were you really doing That's that? That's such a good Mary Poppins. Oh, yeah. There's a good Mary Poppins over there. I would show you, but she's kind of far away. Actually, here we go. We're going to show you Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, can I get a picture? Yeah. It's such a great cosplay. Oh, look at that. The pose and everything. Phenomenal. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You see the cherry blossom. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That was Mary Poppins. I want to dress like that. Mary Poppins, y'all. Like okay, I'll go chase her down. <laughs> I think she made it, actually. Probably. So, I'll buy a dress like that for you. Or I'll make one. <laughs> You're gonna make a dress. Yes, I'll learn how to sew. Okay. I'll find a sewing machine at a thrift sale or an estate sale, and I'll make you a Mary Poppins dress. And then I'll make me a, a suit that looks like Burt's. And I'll learn the dance. I'll talk in a Cockney accent, like in a bad one, like Dick Van Dyke did. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim true. I love doing this vlog, this vlog here with you. Now blow me a kiss. I can't have a mask on. And I'll shake hands with you. So I realized with all of the excitement and the hubbub that was MegaCon Orlando, we forgot to film an outro. So thanks for hanging out with us at MegaCon Orlando 2021. We are definitely going to be back next year. I mean, I've pretty much gone to every MegaCon for the last like 14 years, but it's very awesome to be able to go with my wife. It was really, really fun. We had a great time. I hope you guys had fun with us. Please hit the subscribe button, give us a like, comment. What? Who would you like to meet? If you were gonna meet anybody at a comic convention, what celebrity would you like to meet? Let us know in the comments down below. We are Steak and Potatoes and we're living our happily ever after. Bye.